Oh. Oh my god. 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 Telling us that Corbin or Corbin's doppelganger is going to stab one of us with a knife tonight. Could you like? Holy sh! Alton. We just have this anticipation. The deeper we go, the closer we're getting to what he saw. The 100th story, the 100th candle. According to legend, it's supposed to rip open a portal right where we're standing and suck us into the core of hell. I just heard I'm not gonna stop to your death. What if they're not crawling out, they're crawling in? Yeah, what if this is actually like an escape and that's what you're seeing? Portals aren't one direction. What's interesting about the fire is not like a direction with the wind. It's all pushing to the center. And they're all in a circle. Oh my god. Positive or negative spirit? I am Akuma. I am Akuma, A-K-U-M-A. It's a camera that just turned itself off. Something just ran through these trees. Standing behind you. Oh my god. Get out right now. The heck? What? Something just went from here. What did I hear? I have never seen anything like this before. Oh no. There's just so much stuff. Gloves, bottles, water bottles. Oh my god, is that what I think it is? I saw the whole screen go white, and then just for a second, like right, literally right in front of us, I just saw a massive figure on the yeah. ground. But in that ritual, it says it'll stay with you. So it was with us the whole time. Last night, we figured out language it can be transcended by spirits. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. we got like remarkable evidence up top. Again, mapping more and more and more. Under the ground. Under, Under the ground. Oh my God. Come on. Are you serious? The ritual begins with the participant telling a kaidon, a supernatural story. After their story is concluded, the story... Demonic. Again. Again. The moment it says demonic, something just passed by right behind you. It is believed that extinguishing the final candle opens an overwhelmingly powerful portal. A story told with particular intensity, or a spirit summoned with a strong will, might attach a curse to a participant. In the most severe outcomes, a spirit might claim a participant as its vessel, leading to a battle of wills for control over the individual's body and mind, known as possession, leaving some nauseous, extremely paranoid, hallucinating, emotionally distraught, experiencing visions, seeing apparitions, and in the most severe case, all of the aforementioned. I see like a dark figure on the floor right there. Oh, f ribbon. Motherfucker, motherfucker. And moments later, clear ribbon, I see someone over there. Dude, this sucks so much right now. My back is literally getting, like someone's putting their foot in my back and trying to snap my spine in half. At least you guys couldn't hear me. I did. Cool, found someone. Oh. Are you serious? Oh, are you okay? Oh. Hey. Stop. I marked it and I went further. I went further past it to see like, was there more there was of the ribbon, more, but yeah. there was only ribbon right there. And it was like the first time I went off the clear path. Was there still ribbon? Like, was the ribbon still there too or no? The ribbon's there, that's what I'm saying. Oh, the, so the ribbon's yeah, still there. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The ribbon is, it's a real thing that's there. 
that's why I'm like two and two is fucking insane because it's not like it's like I imagine that and the rib no the ribbon is all it all came together. Yeah, it's it's like saran wrap. It's like clear like cling wrap around the tree. It's like it's a real thing that's there. Yeah. And so, that was also probably a real thing that was there that you saw. That's that's what I'm thinking. It's like or they planted it or it was there, yeah. And then like as I'm turning around leaving, I almost threw up in my mouth. And then uh as we got about 20 feet away from you, the last thing I hear is, uh, this won't stop till you're dead. And then it turns off. Shit. So that's why I'm like, I don't think you guys should go alone. I think yeah, like pairs I, of two. I, def I definitely want to go in a pair. I don't, I don't want to go alone, especially after hearing It was that. fucked. How do you feel? Are you okay? So yeah, I'm fine. The, it felt like someone was putting their foot through the middle of my back for a while. Ugh. But like. They specifically do that to you. Yeah. Yeah, I feel, I feel right now. Seeing what you saw, you saw something. Do you feel okay? Yeah. It wasn't real, I guess, or it was. I don't. It was was real past tense, but currently, r right now, not real. Yeah. Like we don't have to like call anyone, and you you know what I mean. Yeah, exactly. It, it seems like you still got Same. the worst part though. The worst part is finding it and seeing it, and you found it and saw it in your brain you did i was just gonna say about like opening up your mind and that whole type of thing where like you finally were like vulnerable to it and then yeah, it happened just took i straight up challenged it yeah. it like straight up it's just like do something that like would absolutely prove to me you know so it warned us you feel like that proved it to you it warned us i mean i dude i i would have like put my life that there was something in front of me and it was literally as my light my flashlight completely went out and I couldn't like see very well and then all of a sudden I remembered I put these lights on there as emergencies and lit the whole place up and nothing was there. no one's there I don't think I've ever heard you say that you saw something without 100% confidence you know the white, the white mist in front of me and then that like the only time I remember is like Mansfield Reformatory where I was like in a dark room for a very long time and I thought I saw someone, but that's also like when you're in a dark space, like sometimes that happens, but th this was like adamantly 1000% like someone was there. Yeah. We can do a couple as a group and then, uh, and then yeah, let me uh, that's kind of my switch this out, I guess. As a psychiatric nurse early in my career, I worked at a residential mental health facility. There was a resident I'll call Marion. He was an elective mute, which simply means that he didn't, wouldn't, couldn't talk, but there were no pathological findings as to why. He had spoken earlier in his life and it had fa in fact seemed quite normal back then with the notable exception of being close to seven feet tall. After boot camp, he was stationed somewhere in the South. One night he just vanished. It was declared a wall for years, and finally he was declared missing as de and dead. Ten years later, a seven-foot-tall man walked into our hospital emergency room and said to the receptionist, My name is Marion, and I've been dead for ten years. Those were the last words he ever spoke. He was covered with dust and wearing the same clothes he'd been reported to be wearing the night he vanished. His social security number had not been used, and he had no ID. However, they were able to identify him via fingerprints. He was well fed and in good health, except for his refusal to speak. The family was notified, but they had, they said they had already grieved their lost man and whoever was claiming to be him simply could not be. They said he was a haint and a stand in for their dead relative, relative and demanded not to be contacted again. Marion paced all day, every day. 
not in a frantic way, but just lumbering up and down the halls and outside. He smiled all the time and be moving his mouth in a way that indicated talking or muttering, but he was dead silent. He had an unnerving habit of throwing his head back with his mouth wide open as if he were laughing heartily, but not even a breath could be heard. If told to go to the dining room for a meal, he would go and eat. If nobody told him, he just kept pacing, never indicating hunger. If offered a cigarette, he would smoke in an oddly formal way, almost delicately if that makes sense, but he never seemed to crave smoking. The man wanted nothing. If I talked to him, he appeared to listen periodically, throwing his head back in that laughter mimicking way of his. There was nothing to do for this man. Various medications were tried. They did not affect him either positively or negatively. On my last day at the job, on my way to something better, the last thing I saw was Marion, pacing in the parking lot, throwing his head back to laugh. Yeah, I see the flickering white lights over here. Yes. There, there, there. It's on now with the red light. They were there. It's on now. What, uh, what color? Flickering white light. White. That's the way that you went. I mean, I see my tape. It's not my tape. No, you don't have a light. I was trying to figure out if it was a candle light, but it was like little flickers of white light. It's going it's off. Right. It's going off. I thought they were like uh, fireflies, but there's no fireflies here, though. I was going right? to say, I haven't seen any fireflies this no. whole trip. This is nonstop. I feel like it's warning us on something. What are you trying to say? Let's do a test. How many stories have been read, do you think? 20? Uh, we need to tell by the candles. Four, six, eight, Did you turn seven, off the candle, Dom? No. 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Nice guess. Right as you said it. Oh. So 20% done. Mm -hmm. Let's see if anything changes. You know? Let's see if this. Three, two, one. Was that you, the woman in the apparition that came back, the guardian that came back to warn us about Elton being in danger? Do you want us to continue going the same direction Elton did? Do you want us to go deeper in pairs? Were you trying to conjure Elton's deepest fear? Was the Guardian trying to warn us of something? As we continue this ritual, are we making the darker spirits more powerful than they already are? Ending. That didn't sound like a car to me. Mm -mm. We're also really far in, so exactly. I don't understand how we even hear that. We're not near the road anymore. Can you pause the box while we listen back, please? We just want to be able to hear what you might have said. Let's step this way and see if anything changes. Yeah. I'm curious. There's no rules about... Like leaving the candle. Oh my God, just now. I'm just curious to see if it's like feeding off of our energy, and that's why it's going off. Oh, so I'm much. sure it is. Because at first I thought maybe it was the flame, but it's not the flame. Okay. Was that you, the woman in the apparition 
that came back, the Guardian, that came back to warn us about coaching being in danger. To run pod. Do you want us to continue going the same direction else has been? Do you want us to go deeper in tears? There's something there. Were you trying to conjure Elton's deepest fear? Was the Guardian trying to warn us of something? Yes. As we continue this ritual, are we making the darker spirits more powerful than they already are? Guys, it looks like it's getting more powerful. Like this, some of these candles look like they're about to go yeah, out. Yeah, dude. Look at the wind right here. Look at that. It's like a mirrored answer. It's like going matching almost at the same time. Okay. The next two ready to go? Holy cow. All right, let's do this. Maybe after we see the end of his tape, we that's when we start investigating. Now we need to remember as well that he, we might find something that he didn't, so. There's a tape marker right here. Oh, yeah. look. There's also another ribbon or some oh, sort oh, of. Oh, he's right. That's like gauze. Gauze. A yellow gauze. So someone else also marked the same tree. Oh, it looks like, a, it looks like leaves, but they did. Every single step I take, I'm just more and more terrified. Yeah, I don't understand. But we know that he was here before, so we know that there's not going to be anything too scary. Uh, I see more tape and I'm getting more scared. We just have this anticipation. The deeper we go, the closer we're getting to what he saw. We're not going to antagonize the way he did too. No, absolutely not. We are here with respect. We're here with positivity. Yep. I am not testing anything or anyone. We are here to get to know anybody that is here. We want to know your story. And we want to... Uh... Ah! Oh my god! What did what? I hear? I just heard something. Did you hear that? Jesus Christ. Oh my god, I swear, I swear I heard something out there. Jesus Christ. I'm sorry. You... <laughs> I'm sorry. You almost... You didn't hear anything? I didn't, but you almost blew my goddamn eardrums. <laughs> Listen that way. I swear there's something over there. I heard it. There are three new devices, two new devices here. At any point, you wanna use these flashlights to put energy into it. This one right here can signify that you like it. Yes, anything positive related to what we're talking about. This side, for no, you hate it, or it has nothing to do with you. Or a new way of showing your energy. I used to live in a one bedroom apartment a number of years back. One night, I came home roughly about 2.30 in the morning and was exhausted, so I decided to go straight to bed. As I lay in bed, trying to get comfortable enough to fall asleep, I heard a rather loud noise coming from the living room. Kind of like what would happen if someone jumped off the couch and land on the floor. I live in an apartment building on the top floor so I knew it wasn't coming from below me. On edge now, I continue to lay... That's a K. 
camera that just turned itself off. Yeah, why? Not that one. It's the one above us. The one closest to us. See? Yeah. So I knew I wasn't coming from below. On the edge now, I could I created the sound in the living room made a thundering dash towards my room it didn't sound like the person running more like something four-legged sound sorry excuse me more like something four-legged it was inhumanly fast and the noise was definitely loud until whatever it was stopped on the dime what if what felt like was one foot away from my face i refused to op open my eyes just on the off chance that something was there the sound ceased but there was an incredibly feeling of dread and darkness that radiated through the room holy cow the fire is kind of stupid through my room for approximately five minutes but then it simply disappeared instantly and the aura of the room returned to normal. It would never again the entire time that I lived in the apartment, but it was certainly a wild sequence. Now I know that it was not sleeping paralysis because I had not fallen asleep yet. Oh, goodness. Gracious. It was only on two and a half hours of record time. And it cooked the whole battery. Cooked? Done, yeah, that's that loud beeping noise of battery low, battery low. Like I took the REM pot away and then it just completely cooked the battery. What's interesting about the fire is with the wind or whatever, it's all going to the center. Right. It's not like a direction with the wind. It's all pushing to the center. You're right. It's not. This is so weird. I didn't realize that it is all just cycling into a portal. <laughs> yeah. It's like something in the center is pulling it in, which would make sense why this is constantly going off more and more. That's just the power ripping through it. I'm starting to feel so out of it. It's weird. I'm starting to feel like I'm, like I'm here, but I'm not. All right, I just want to make sure we actually finish it and not become another person that's never done it. My dad owned rental houses back in the 90s. My girlfriend and I had go in after a renter left and rehab the house. One particular house he purchased years ago with the renter already in the house. When they passed away, we went in and started in the bedrooms, first painting them and then cutting out the carpets. We noticed we kept losing our carpet cutters but thought we'd accidentally rolled them up in the carpets. So we got fluorescent orange cutters. Nope, still can't find them. Then we pulled the living room carpet. Several large stains that look exactly like dried blood are soaked into the cork underfloor. Okay, might be a stain or someone butchered a chicken in the living room. No telling. Oh, your light is way brighter than mine. I have it on the brightest setting, but it might backfire because it might die. Oh wait, do you want to use one of these ones? I don't think it's going to be better. It might be. Yeah, look at, look at the difference in yours and mine. Here, try this one. Okay. That twisty one. Wow, this sucks. I'm so scared right now. Yeah, same. Okay, see another piece oh, of this Oh yeah, great, tape. this light's off too. What? Don't see that. Look at mine. Your headlamp died? Yeah. Oh no, now it's red. Now it's off. Yeah, and it, it can it can like do it for like a second, but that's it. Probably one of the worst places to <laughs> do your first. Uh, okay. Oh my god, this light is so bad. Yeah, barely see anything. Really? He must have gone deep in here because how are we not there yet? Yeah, I need to just not use this one anymore. Elton. It's awful. Okay, here's another piece of Elton tape. Keep wanting it to be the last one. Are you ready? I'm gonna start recording. Are we trying to talk directly to the to whatever the thing that he thinks he saw? Yeah, maybe. Maybe we should try that direction. Yeah, quiet. It got. It got really quiet. We're here to speak to 
whatever Elton communicated with, whoever is here, what is your name? Where are you from? And how old were you when you last visited here? Are you a positive or a negative spirit? What is the message that you want us to know? Okay, I stopped. We're here to speak to whatever Elton communicated with, whoever is here. What is your name? Where are you from? And how old were you when you last visited here? I heard 300. Stop it. I heard 300. Negative. We're getting responses on each one of these questions. Every one of these questions. Every single one. Out that of is wild. Sense. That is wild. I don't it know did if that. sound like it said negative, and I hate to say that. It sound. It said negative. Or negative spirit. What negative. Is the message that you want us to know. My daughter, my daughter Lily has an imaginary friend, completely normal for kids her age, so I didn't think much of it at first. They play together all the time, having tea parties and playing house. Cute, right? Let's see, are you the flame? One day... No. <laughs> nope. One day I'm watching them have a tea party and I swear to you the day... Okay. That is insane. The reason I wanted to do that, it's not. It's I wanted to prove if it's working. Right, but it's not. So it's not the flame. It's not the flame. It's not the location. It's actually reading the stories is giving that more power. I just wanted to see. Wow. I wanted to see if we were overheating it, if it was the electronics, right. like if it's some malfunction. Right. It's normal temperature now. It went off in there, it went off in there, and over there. So we know it works. Yep. So reading these stories is working. It's going off more and more frequently. So much more. So let's read them all and get this thing done. Maybe we should ask more so about the forest. Yeah, let's ask more about the forest because if it's a 300 years old, it's obviously not Been here for a, a, a long time. person who was here. It was... Yeah. <sighs> okay. What would you call yourself? Are you a being? Are you a spirit? Were you a person at one point? Can you tell us anything about yourself? What are your feelings about people like us coming to visit here and to interact with you? Is this something you enjoy? Is this something you don't like? Has anybody come in to this forest in the last week, at least where we are right now? Do you have more energy during the nighttime, when the sun comes up, do you go away? Okay, I stopped. All right, you ready to listen? No, uh, really, I know, I know, I know yeah. you're not. I know you're not ready. I know you're not ready. Okay, let's do it. What? You hear that? It's like a like a like a bell. Or more like a like a like a wind, like a oh. I do kind of hear something over there. Just 
in this general area where I'm pointing the selfie stick. You're hearing that, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like, oh. I heard it more that way. What would you call yourself? Are you a being? Are you a spirit? Were you a person at one point? Can you tell us anything about yourself? What are your feelings about people like us coming to visit here and to interact with you? Is this something you enjoy? Is this something you don't like? Has anybody come in to this forest in the last week, at least where we are right now? Do you have more yes. energy it was a straight yes. during the night? Is this something you enjoy? Is this something you don't like? Has anybody come in to this forest in the last week, at least where we are right now? Do you have more yes. energy? Straight yes. When the sun comes up, do you go away? It sounded like help. In that there. was a yes. That was a yes. Straight off. It was a yes. When the sun comes up, do you go away? It sounded like help. In there. Okay, should we go any further? <laughs> if you're asking me, I think we're out of time. But uh, let's yeah. maybe just to the top right just here. To, yeah, just just to that. make sure. Oh god. Okay, you come in front because the camera is Okay. Moving. Okay, so this must be where it was. Yeah, there's no more tape. There's no more tape. There's no more tape. Thank you for speaking with us. We are going to head back. And we will take your messages with us. If there's anything else. Tell us now any last messages you have. If there's anything you'd like to say to Elton when we get back, what would it be? Okay, let's uh, let's go back and we'll listen to it when we get back. Okay, turning around. Oh my god. Okay, we're just in the scariest place in the whole world right now. Yeah, this is this is probably the scariest place I've ever been. I, this is the you've tree been to me. a lot of places. I've been to a lot of scary places. Also, the um, flashlight's just turned off so fast. Your headlamp died. Yeah, it's like something out here doesn't want flashlight? doesn't want you to see it. Yeah, exactly. No, I think I think we did a lot. I think there was a lot going on that tape, and we're gonna listen to it when we get back. Yeah. We need to re-listen to all of that. Because the one thing's for sure that we got negative. That was that was crazy. That was probably the clearest thing that we got today. Yeah. And answers mm. on everything. I'm glad wow. I would not phone. have been able to. Yeah, like there's the uh, there's, there's the that gauze. gauze. Yeah. So somebody was here before us. So that might have been with the last week. But it might have. You might have got a different direction. Something. Mm, you're right. Oh, I'm so happy we're back. I never thought I'd be happy to be back to a ritual. I don't know how this works because there's no shot we're going to be being able to read a story and put out a candle. Yeah. So we're going to finish all the stories, but it's not going to be to the, to the same to the book. We light candles? Can't. That's it. They're burned out. Oh, were they, they had like the cotton flame? The, the, giant, all... the giant flame forced them all to burn faster. Jesus oh. Christ. So they've all been burning faster than they're supposed to. We've already had a body camera turn itself off. Oh yeah. my God. Oh, and yeah, his I'll head all my, died. All my headlamp, my flashlight's dying. Yeah, all left right now. You need to listen to these recordings. Because we, we listened to them out there, the first two. We saved the last one for here because we didn't... Just we just want to get back. An emotional roller coaster going from that to reading stories casually around a campfire to yeah. back to this. Yeah. 
Like I'm like forgetting that you guys were just yeah. yeah. We would just yeah. went to where you went, where you felt like you saw a body. Yeah. And we heard a. She we heard both a heard the same whistle, bell, sing. Yeah. Like there was a lot out there. It was yeah. Yeah, it feels very disconnected from reality now. Okay, here we go. Let's let's go back like two of them. Two of them? Yeah. or like 300, I don't know what it was, but it was 100. Are you a positive or a negative spirit? What is the Clearly as message? day. Clearly the message is that you want us to know. Negative. 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 a laugh. Listen to the last one. But those two scared us. Thank you for speaking with us. Mm. We are going to head back and we will take your messages with us. If there's anything else, tell us now. Any last messages you have. If there's anything you'd like to say to Elton when we get back, what would it be? There's literally whispers right at the end. Ooh. Do that again. Oh my god. Get out right now. Dude, that's insane. That is insane. That's that is insane. Get out right now. That is insane, clear as day. I've never heard so clear in my oh, life. Oh, like, man. it's like mustering up and it goes, Yeah. He's like, get out right now. Yeah. Should we try to finish these stories before? We can try, but there's no, absolutely no way we're reading them all while the candles are still lit. Yeah. But we did a test while you guys were gone. What did you test? We've left the REM pod out, cooled it down, got it back to core temperature, put it back in the center to see if it went off. It still was went going off. off as we were reading. Really? Okay, I thought maybe it was yeah. a flame. Moved it over there, get away from the flame. Yep. As we're reading, still going off. Yep. Moved it over there, still going off. Yep. So this thing is just constantly going off because as we keep reading, it's stirring up more energy. And earlier, Evan pointed out that all the fire was curling to the center. Yeah. Mm. It, it wasn't going in any particular mm. direction. It yeah, was just right. going. On both sides, it was going. To yeah, how can, wind, how can wind go this way and that way at the it's same time? It's just completely curling it to the center. Yeah. And whatever it was caused them all to burn two times faster than they're supposed to. Yeah. So now we're down to whatever these candles are. I mean, maybe we can try and read them eight. before. Like eight stories. Well, let's just, might as well try, right? Oh, yeah, sure. it's, it's the lady in white trying to Protect get us you. out. Yeah, tell us like, to stop. Like, stop us from doing this. Um, that thing's slowly going to red. Right now, you can hear it. Oh, oh my god, look at that. As if it's like, hey, keep reading these stories. Let's do it. Um, okay, you can read as a group, speed run them, and yeah. then send you guys off. Yeah. 
All right, I'm not gonna put any candles out, unfortunately, because I think the name of the game now is to read these stories before all the candles are out. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Hello, I couldn't sleep, so I thought now would be a good time to post this. So I have an eight-year-old daughter. I will be calling her Leanna for the sake of my child's privacy. My child's privacy. I am a single father and it hasn't always been easy, but we have managed before the start of Corona. We had moved into a new house in Northern Germany, which is close to my parents. Soon after we settled in, Leanna started to tell me about her new friend, quickly telling me only she could see him. I brushed it off as she had always been creative, and since we were under lockdown, I thought it was normal, especially since one of my friend's sons had also had an imaginary friend. Throughout the next few months, she would tell me about him and how he'd come to play with her once I put her to bed, and he knew magic and how his favorite color was blue. I started to get a little worried as she seemed to know a lot about this friend. At first, I just thought it was because she was missing her real friends and my parents, so I started to spend even more time with her, even doing my work hours beforehand so I could spend the rest of the day with her, but she still kept talking about this friend, but everything changed two nights back. I had woken up randomly around 3 a.m. I could just feel something wasn't right, so I got up and went to go check on Leanna. She was sleeping in her bed, uh, though her blanket was a little different than how I had left her. I figured she had just moved. But as I was leaving, just in the corner of my eye, I saw a figure in the window that looks out into the woods outside of her home. I looked at it for a good two minutes before it simply disappeared. I really couldn't figure out what it was. Some part of me was thinking it was my eyes playing tricks on me, but that day I asked her to draw me a picture of him. And after 20 minutes or so, she gave me the drawing of a man with a man red with hair, a man of red with hair, about three times as tall as her, holding a sort of rope that is tied around her neck like a leash. I don't even know what to make of it, to be real with you. I sent it to my mom and the single dad group I'm in, and they all said it was scary as hell. I really don't know what to do at this point, and I'm becoming worried for my child. I'm just hoping all of this really just is in her mind, but I do not know anymore. I am not putting out candles because we don't have enough left. Yeah. One night last week, I was having a horrible time sleeping throughout the night. I was too hot, then I was too cold, etc. When I finally stopped tossing and turning around 3 a.m. and closed Something my eyes. Through the trees. I'm so sorry. What's up? I interrupt you, but. What's up? Something just ran through these trees. Like, like actually? Yeah, like, it's, it's, I mean, like gear sounding, like that, that heavy. That's what, Corbin. Yeah, no, that's what you were say, hearing too. I said heavy, something heavy is out there. Who has the thermal thing? Oh yeah. Thermal yeah. goggle. Oh, you, sorry, you can keep reading. I'm gonna keep looking. I'll take Does that it, thermal from you though. But we're, we're thinking physical here. Are we? I don't know. Uh, I mean, it, it sounded like a deer, but... But deer aren't... No, not all the way out here. My mom passed away in 2016 at the age of 56 from cancer. She was in a hospice and died in her home. One of her favorite songs, Somewhere Over the Rainbow, which I added to her memorial video. Fast forward months later, I was cleaning out my home, or her home, of her belongings by myself. There was no one else there. At one point, I have, I have an emotional breakdown and step outside to collect myself. Once I when I return, I hear the music coming from the other side of the house, which immediately struck me as weird. And as not only was I there alone, but the electricity in the house had shut off. I follow the music to the bookshelf, where I find it emanating from a snow globe. It's motion activated, and it only plays music when it's picked up. The song, Somewhere Over the Rainbow. I think I think we should send the two of you off to, to investigate before like we lose all our tools, because I'm watching yeah. the, all the batteries like die right now. Yeah. But it's like, we, we still might have like two and a half hours to go to finish this. Okay. Sounds good. All right. All right, we'll see you guys in a bit. Good luck. Thank you. Evan and I will be commun that's us communicating with you now. We are apprehensive. Okay. There's no need to be apprehensive. We don't mean any harm or disrespect. Uh, we're here attempting to figure out about this evil entity. Right. And our guardian. Let's uh, go that way. Yeah. Anyway, a few weeks ago, our cat Dublin goes missing out of the blue. We search high and low, put up flyers the whole nine yards, but there's no sign of him anywhere. We're all devastated. That was like my stomach. Did you hear that? That was like a growl. That was your stomach? That was from like right here. But it was the weirdest noise I've ever heard. Dating for five years and I have never heard you do anything <laughs> like that. I've never heard my <laughs> body do that. It was like here, my chest. 
Thank you, Brian. We search high and low, put up flyers the whole nine yards, but there's no sign of him anywhere. We're all devastated. That was like my stomach or something. Did you hear that? That was like a growl. That was your stomach? That was from like right here. I'm here to get something off my chest that's been haunting me since last week. I recently joined a coven. I was excited to explore my newfound interest in the occult and learn from experienced practitioners. We gathered in this dimly lit room surrounded by flickering candles and the scent of incense. It felt normal and what I sort of expected. The atmosphere was charged with energy. Ha! Stop it. As we prepared for the ritual. Are you serious? I was nervous, but excited, ready to embrace the mysteries of magic. As the ceremony began, I watched in awe as my fellow coven members chanted incantations and invoked ancient deities. No way. Everything seemed to be going according to plan until one of the women, let's call her Alara, stepped forward. Alara raised a dagger to her eye, and before I could even comprehend what was happening, she made a deep incision drawing blood. I recoiled in horror as it trickled down her cheek, staining her skin. I couldn't believe what I was witnessing. This wasn't the kind of magic I had signed up for. This was dark, twisted, and utterly terrifying. What chilled me to the bone was the way the other members of the coven reacted. They didn't flinch or protest. Instead, they continued their chants and with unwavering focus, as if Alara's self-inflicted wound was just another step in the ritual. I wanted to run, I wanted to scream, but feet rooted me to the spot, trapping me in a nightmare of blood and darkness. When the ceremony finally came to an end, I stumbled out of the room in a daze, my mind uh, reeling with questions and doubts. I hadn't been back to another coven meeting since. The memory of that night still haunts me. I don't know if I'll ever find the courage to return, but one thing's for sure, I'll never forget the horrors I witnessed. Jeez. Is it you? That's pretty remarkable timing. Yeah. Literally with the energy and everything. Oh. All right, I'm gonna start taping because we're definitely not going on the path. Yeah. Danger. Uh, what what kind of danger? Is going down this way dangerous? Here. Can we just put a piece of tape on this tree? I've never used these before. So that's where we're gonna start, right there with the tape. Yeah. Okay. So from here, if you could tell us what direction to go, left and right, again, I don't even know. It, does that mean tell us to go back? One's move. One is straight. One, one did not move. One turned around. So I don't know if that is the guardian, but both of my hands are perfectly even. We're going to move forward. When I was a dumb kid, my brother and I were playing around on the stairs. I was at the top jumping around in a pillowcase. I slipped, obviously, and went tumbling down backwards. Everything went in slow motion, as things sometimes do when your life is in peril. I watched one of our cats being pulled backward about five feet by her tail. Oh, okay, here, we're back to Elton's tape. All right. People can't hear me. I can't hear you. We could hear you. We would like for you to talk to us so we can share your stories, share the reasons why maybe you came here, and hopefully send that message to other people so they don't make any unfortunate decisions. I hate to say that in that term, but if we can affect one, one person's life and save that, that would change it. Lots of things. Right. What is making you feel so angry or negative? 
when you point in the direction for us to go, should we continue on the path? Do we deviate off the path, or do we keep going straight? Something's wrong. What's wrong? Okay, let's try to just keep going. From three until 13, I lived in a nice home out near Yosemite National Park. Nothing super spectacular about it. Four bedrooms, a den, dining room, and the norm. Just down a little dirt road, and if you've ever been around those parts, you'll know, miles away from civilization. My whole childhood, I was visited by this girl in white. She never spoke. I would just wake up at night and see or feel her there. I asked my dad and his response every time was, the men in our family can see ghosts. My rationale for this was that we had some sort of mild schizophrenia running through our family. It didn't bother me. She didn't look like other people. There was just something off about her. After my father died, my mother decided to sell the house and went through a realtor. We never once had contact with the buyers, only knew them by name. The buyers had a son who went to the same school as our old neighbors, dear friends of the family. The son who moved into my old house apparently went to school without sleep repeatedly, complaining that there was a girl who watched him at night and that he needed to get out. First one off on wake, it, wake us up in the middle of the night. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. And the a girl, girl in white. white. The girl in white was the more, that one was like. Oh, is that what it was? Yeah, it went right off when it said girl in yeah, white. Yeah, it said, I was visited by this girl in white. She never spoke. I would just wake up at night and see or feel her there. And yeah. the last words are what the words were that told you, get out. Anyone here with us still? Is our guardian with us still? Or has that person left? Yeah. Did you hear that? No, what? I heard a... <sighs> Was that you that whispered next to my ear? Was that you that went... <sighs> person left. Stop here for a second. Yeah. Did you hear that? No, what? I heard a... <sighs> Recording. Yes, our cameras are recording, so hopefully it got that noise. Again, I'm going to ask you to point us in the direction to go. Uh, if you could point one of these rods in the direction. Otherwise, we will keep continuing on the path. Protection. Thank you. That's what we want. Thank you. Thank you, Guardian, for being here. <laughs> they weren't moving for a little bit. This one drifted a little bit to the left. Okay. And then snapped back on center. <laughs> it's almost like, almost like the, the devil wants us to go this way. I make noises. The, you just heard? Yeah. But yes, yes, it's, Again, the two entities battling each other. Right. That it puts some negative energy to take us off a path that we already know is. Let's, I'm curious. Let's try. I'm curious. Well, we're gonna have to start marking though. Yep. Okay. I'm gonna put these away for a minute. Wow, the ground just sinks. Unless she there. Am I dead? Ooh, ooh. Oh, that's a heavy one. Who? Who are you? This evening, my husband was coming up to pick me up from late class. It's extremely foggy out, so not many cars were on the road. However, one car seemed to be ho hovering right next, right next to him. He stopped at a light and he got the sense that a person in this car was watching him. He turned his head to look at the woman in the car and her body was twisted towards him. She started staring directly into his eyes. She had an eerie smile on her face. Probably could have brushed it off except that woman in the car was me. The exact same thing happened again the next three lights before she turned. He said it looked exactly like me. He was sure it was, except I definitely was not on the road and it wasn't my car. He shook. He's a pretty solid dude, 
and he was shaking and, and in tears. Again, just looking and talking about nature and everything. Look how beautiful that moss is on here. Right. And it's just, I, I just hate talking about it because it, oh, oh shit. No. No. No, I should talk about it? Or, I, I don't know. Do you want us to continue this way? Basically what I'm trying to get at, it's, it's a shame that this place has gotten its nickname from such a terrible thing. When it's so beautiful. Right. Okay, maybe try Panasonic here. I don't know. Yeah? Yeah. Yep. Rosemary. Rosemary. Could take it two ways. Herb or a name. And talking about the greens and beautiful, maybe it was someone's favorite. I'm a good person. Good. Good. Okay. Maybe our guardian's back. I'm glad. It was supposed to be just a fun Airbnb experience ghost hunting while out in the desert. Something fun to do in a remote area that didn't have too many options. It was that or axe throwing or bowling, so a night drive to look for these skinwalker creatures seemed fun. Well, it was only $20 a person for a few hours. My family and I had tagged along with the ghost hunters eager to experience the thrill of the unknown. As the night went on, it became clear that the group was more interested in having a good time than taking the paranormal seriously. I'll spare you the details of their bad jokes, but what matters is, they started joking around saying skinwalker as much as possible, laughing as they then connected a microphone to a speaker and yelled it out into the, into the desert night. Not an ordinary speaker, this thing was like a loud PA system you'd have at a football game. We tried to warn them to tell them that they were playing with fire. They just brushed us off, convinced that nothing could harm them. Even we knew that saying the word was known to draw them in. That's when we saw them. Two figures emerging from the darkness. Stop it. Their forms twisted oh. and distorted. Their eyes burning with an overworldly light, otherworldly light. The skinwalkers, drawn to the group's reckless behavior, were coming for us. We scrambled to get into the car, our hearts pounding, our hearts pounding with fear as we slammed the door shut and peeled out into the night. But no matter how fast we drove, the skinwalkers kept pace with us, their unearthly speed defying all logic. Jesus Christ. We could hear their eerie cries echoing in the darkness, their voices filled with malice and hunger. They were toying with us, toying with our fear, and we knew that if we didn't find a way to escape, we would become their next victims. <coughs> We drove for what felt like hours, our nerves frayed, and our minds consumed with terror. But finally, just as we were about to give up hope, we saw the light of civilization on the horizon. I don't know how we didn't crash, driving through every tumbleweed and over every rock and ditch imaginable. The ghost hunting team dropped us off at the same gas station we met them at. The last thing they said to us was, it was this, or bowling, right? I'll just start at basic. Our guardian, can you tell us if we are going the right way, or were you trying to take us off the path? Our guardian, are you currently battling the negative energy that is forcing any, anything upon us? Standing behind you. Oh my God, dude, you know what's crazy? I literally heard something that was like behind us and it says standing behind us. That's why I pointed at you. What? Who? Who's standing behind us? I, I just stopped it. It's okay. I'll do one more. Anything upon us. Standing behind you. God, dude, you know what's crazy? I literally heard something that was like behind us and it says standing behind us. When I was in high school, I worked as a courtesy clerk at Albertsons. People were always telling me that they saw me somewhere in town when I wasn't there. One day when I got out of class at the end of school, I had to go straight to work. I wouldn't get home till just after nine that night. So I walked in just after nine and said, hi people to my mom and my sisters. And they all looked confused. My mom asked me where I was coming from. I said that I'd been at work. My mom and my older sister said, no, you haven't. You came in hours ago. You said, hi, people, and went upstairs. I said, no, I didn't. I hadn't been home since I left at 7 this morning. So all four of us went upstairs to my room to see who came home. 
My door was closed. I usually leave it open. The light was on. The TV was on. Open the door. Nobody was there. But wait, it gets weirder. In high school, we had a secondary school called the Skill Center. It was a place that had a collection of vocational classes you could take. For instance, I took TV broadcasting, web design, and forestry. One day I was waiting for the bus to leave for Skill Center after my broadcasting class and a teacher I'd never met ran up to me and said, Zashiba, you need to come back to class. I had never been in her class, but apparently I'd been missing for the last few sessions. I tried to explain I wasn't in her class, but she seemed to know who I was. She took me to the office thinking I was ditching. We go in and I tell the office clerk my name and she looks me up. Sure enough, there I am in broadcasting like I said, but... There I am under my stepdad's name in her class. Under my stepdad's last name in her class. I went by both names. It was a bit confusing, but both names were relatively unique. So it's not like there would have been a random person that looks just like me in her class. It's just extremely unlikely. I had been in her class for the entire semester until I mysteriously stopped showing up. I turned into work and everything. Even my signature was on it. One day this doppelganger simply stopped showing up. No one ever saw him again. I think the common theme of activity tonight has been like the doppelganger stories. You know, mirroring, yeah. mirroring and doppelganger has, yeah. has been a huge thing. I mean, look at this thing. Still yes. ripping. Oh, it's wild. When I was around 9 to 10 years old, I remember waking up to see a large shadow standing at the foot of my bed. I was living with my dad at the time. He's a very large, he has a very large five floor, a Terrence house built in the 1800s. Every so often, there would be an unexplainable event happen such as footstep, footsteps when there's no real, when no one's there or, or voices. On the night this happened, it was just my dad and I at the house. My sister was staying with mom at the time. I woke up and noticed the door in my room was wide open. I normally sleep with it closed. Does that sound exactly like the last one? Yeah. Then I became aware of a large around seven foot tall shadow like figure watching me from the end of the bed when the figure noticed me looking it seemed to melt into the floor and the door of my room slammed shut understandably I was slightly traumatized by the whole experience asked my dad the next day if he uh, was in my room and he denied the knowledge of the event he's not the type of person to, who likes jokes this is insane for the record that, it went off the entire duration of you reading, which was like a minute and a half. And now it stopped. And it just stopped. Are we like, how many are left in there? Are we close to done? Not really. Okay, I thought maybe that's what was happening. Like we were almost at the end here. Who was standing behind us? Was it our guardian? Was it the evil entity? Or something else? But nothing clear. But yeah. Nothing clear. Just all these formations and the roots and just it just layers upon layers and yeah. What is that? Do you know what that is? Sorry, my hands are shaking like crazy. Like that looks like there's... plastic debris and stuff. Am I tripping? No. Um, it's definitely something light colored. You want to check it out? Should we? I feel like we should. Yeah. Across I, okay, we, we've seen a bottle and a, some fabric. Yeah. Uh, whatever. Okay. Oh gosh, oh gosh. 
gosh, oh gosh, I really hope not. Let's mark, mark something in front of you. Yep. Oh, God. oh my goodness, that's a lot. Oh my God, 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 hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yep, yep, yep. Oh my God, wait, 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 before we, listen, before we continue. Okay, we don't know what it is, it's a pile of trash. There's a, We don't know what it is, it's a pile of trash. It's okay. So, here's the thing. So, talking, think, thinking out loud. Uh-huh, I'm listening. Is, I, I, I don't think as of right now, we should just go and look at it. Um, I would say, it would be smart of us to go back and say it, what we found. And just all come together? Well, I don't know about all coming together or what. I don't know. Do we mark that tree yet? I did not. I was putting around it and Sorry. I out. It's okay. Let's, let's mark this tree. I'm going to do... Mark a few, actually. I mean, we if we come here, we'll know the area. jump over here real quick. I just saw my cat that we put down a few days ago. To start off, I'm not religious. I do not prescribe to a religion. I was not under the influence of any drugs. Oh, I have a great story. This happened when I was around five or six years old. I lived in this isolated house. There was pretty much no one around for miles. We had a car garage. Me, my sister, and cousin were playing at night around 10 p.m. At one point, me and my sister were trying to hop on my cousin's back since he was the tallest, and we all ended up facing the garage wall. At this point, it felt like someone was watching me, so I turned. I kid you not, there was this transparent looking man standing in front of our house, just staring at me. I froze and stared back to see, what I, to see if what I was seeing was real. We locked eyes for at least four seconds, which felt like eternity. My plan was to keep an eye on him until the others also turned to confirm what I was seeing was real. But at this point, I couldn't hear my sister laughing or my cousin. It was quiet. I kept... Whoa. Is that our guys? They're that Whoa. way. Whoa. That sound came from that way. That was a, that, okay, so first off, what did you guys feel? I just heard like a, Whoa. Yeah, it was like a, Whoa. Yes. Whoa. Ooh. And this thing is not going off. Flash, that's going on for the first time. Yeah. Oh my God. My plan was to keep an eye on him until the others also turned and confirm what I was seeing was real. But at this point, I couldn't hear my sister laughing or my cousin. It was quiet. I kept... Whoa. Is that our guys? They're that Whoa. way. Whoa. That sound came from that way. That was a... That... Okay, so first off, what did you guys feel? I just heard like a whoa. Yeah, it was like a whoa. Yes. Whoa. Ooh. And this thing is not going off. Wow, that's going on for the first time. Yeah. Oh my god. What the fuck was that? That was the first time I heard that noise. That was, it sounded like it was far but extremely loud. I'm actually watching the flashlight start to turn on now too. Okay, whatever we're doing is working. I mean, we're getting more noises, more K2, more flashlight. That thing's off right now? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I turned it off a long time. It was it basically was doing this. It was yeah, just all the time. going okay. the whole time and I was like, okay, it's literally at to a point where I'm about to turn this off. Exactly. We've already proven that this is working. Like it's, it can't go any off any more than that. Look around, look around, look around, make sure nothing's around. Oh my god. Okay, here. I can't 
can't tell, but there's a lot of stuff going on over there, dude. Yeah. A lot. And for all we know, it could be someone that just camped out. But I... What are you thinking? I don't see anything like... I don't... I, I see trash, debris, you know, but I don't see anything like defined. That blue... There's a blue bag, blue something. Let's see if we can mark this tree and just get a little okay. closer. I just, I don't know. I mean, I guess if we look, let me put this away. If we look from a distance. I just, there's just so much going on over there. I don't know. I mean, yeah, here, here starts the trash. Here, where? Right here. Let's see. There's something right here. Okay, I'm I'm gonna be curious. Be the one. Cause I I mean here I guess here's the thing. At the end of the day, as much as I do not want to find someone out here, we owe the respect to get that person taken care of. Right. They do not deserve to be out here. Right. So that's the way I'm gonna I'm gonna treat this. Okay. I like that mindset. I, I, I just yeah. I don't, I don't know why that realization just came over me. Okay. But but. Okay. Yeah. Wash the floor then, right? Just be careful. If you see anything. Baby steps. Yeah, we'll take it slow. Wow. I didn't even know that was possible. It's going off like a Geiger counter in the it's middle of Chernobyl. Literally, yes. So now I'm curious since it's been a while. Are all three gonna go off at the same time now? I mean, yeah, it's gonna be at a point where yeah, we have you to just turn, gotta yeah. turn it off. Yeah. I've been a mortician for over a decade and have never had any issues with anything paranormal. Around six months ago, a new girl started working at the funeral home. She and her family claim to be sensitive, do different divination rituals, and are psychic. She's even admitted to me that she has done black magic to get back at an ex-boyfriend. So here's the deal. Like I said, nothing has ever happened to me regardless of the funeral homes I've worked in. I've been there alone all hours of the night. Nothing. So the past few months, weird things have started happening. My other co-worker has had weird things happen at her home. Like things randomly appearing, her son is sleepwalking and speaking to someone outside, or pictures of flying across the room. At the funeral home, we've heard whisperings on multiple occasions and doors slamming. Now comes my turn. The other night, I'm embalming alone, and I thought I kept seeing someone standing out at the corner of my eye, but I kept telling myself it was my mind messing with me. The door that leads outside is right outside of the room where I'm embalming. I have the door open to the embalming room. The door that goes outside has a metal bar that you pull to latch and lock it. Everything is locked, obviously, since I'm alone. So no more than five minutes after I keep seeing someone standing out in the corner of my eye, I hear a massive slam against the metal bar on the door. It was so loud I thought about it. I thought out loud I had a heart attack. My main question here is what's y'all opinion? Do you think it's someone I've helped over the years making themselves known, or do you think it's more? I personally think the new girl brought something with her. Her grandmother has even told me that she has an attachment. I'm terrified and really don't want to work alone. I'm afraid if it's more than just a spirit cleansing, we'll make it more upset and make things worse. Help. I think I have to turn that off. It's just yeah, going. It's too much. I have now. never seen anything like this before. I've never seen that thing do that. What is it? It's still going. Girl. What is it supposed to mean? It just, it, it doesn't do that. Right, no, but like, why is it doing that? Why? Yeah, well, it has to why? Be, oh, and the flashlight just turned off. Yeah. It has to be all the energy that we've yeah, actually... I'm like wondering if it's... Can I just try one thing? You can keep reading. Accumulated. Why is like the box itself it... Whoa. Whoa. The box itself? Why would it's the box itself... energy? A is it where all box? the stories are stored? Yeah. This is the ritual box. Wait, wait, look at that, actually. The That's wooden it. box is giving it... Energy. Like, every, everything is coming... Like, there's energy all around, which we would assume... Everything we've done, but it's like... The box itself... Is making it spike. What the hell is that about? It there's was. no reason why the box itself should be doing that. I don't know. But there's nothing in the box besides papers. But papers of stories. I mean, there's nothing in the box, it's just more papers. But it is a ritual box.
fuck is that? Is that cigarettes? Nah. What is that? It's like a uh, Mac Pro. No, it's a package. Come uh, on. Maybe fire starter? Yeah, logs. And it has a match. I'm assuming some sort of fire starter. Careful. Careful. Gloves. Gloves. Where? Right there. Gloves. Oh, yep. Oh no. There's just so much stuff. Bottles, water bottles. Oh my god. And uh, again, I'm just in a positive way for all we know. There could we just be been someone here and well, if there was somebody here, maybe they already been taken out. Um, or is yes, the campground. Because, I mean, it is a very open area. Gotta just turn on the light brighter. You see anything? No. feel much better about this now. Low-key, a little bit, right? These are all tools. I mean, this looks like maybe it was like, again, I'm trying to think positive. No. Yeah. But to leave all this here though, you know what I'm saying? And this is, this is to cook. Yeah. Water bottles. Oh my God, is that what I think it is? What? What the, these tied up stuff? Is this ribbon? That, is that, that what they call that it? That looks like ribbon. Yeah. I don't like it. I don't like this at all. That's fine. We can turn around. Because I again just look. I I don't think we need to investigate. We came here to make sure, but it is a deserted. We'll call it campsite. Okay. Let's just, let's just look around this campsite at least. Ribbon. Is it usually next to? I have no idea. Okay. But again, why? Thinking, why would there be a ribbon right there? If the camp, you clearly can see the campsite. You don't need the ribbon as a marker. Right. Unless I'm missing something. This has been eating away at me for months. It's some seriously messed up stuff. I don't know who else to talk to about it. A while back, I stumbled upon these super creepy videos online. You know the kind where people are doing all sorts of messed up incantations and rituals. I thought they were just for entertainment, like some twisted horror movie stuff. I chalked it all up to fake YouTube bullshit being done for views. But then weird things started happening. Like I'd wake up in the middle of the night, drenched in sweat with this overwhelming feeling that something was inside me, something dark and sinister. At first, I brushed it off as just my imagination running wild. But then, one night, it hit the fan. I woke up to find myself standing over my parents' bed holding a knife in my hand. I couldn't remember how I got there or what I was doing. It was like I was watching someone else control my body. I freaked the hell out, dropped the knife, booked it out of there before I could do anything I'd regret. I went right to my room trying to figure out what the hell was happening to me. And that's when I remembered those videos. I must have been stupid or something. Watching that messed up shit realizing the consequences now i'm terrified that i've somehow invited something into my life something that's taken control of me and wants to do who knows what i don't know what to do i'm scared for my life and the lives of my parents my dad stepped on the knife when getting out of bed in the morning it didn't cut him too bad luckily but i never told him how i got there and they're also pretty freaked out about it hey dude what do you have in your chest right now me yeah like a cat ball no, that big metal thing. This? The mm -hmm. knife? Yeah. The knife? Yeah. This is the whole story about getting stabbed by the oh friend in the middle of the night. God. So maybe we should like hide that away from you? I don't think, well, it'll be yeah, maybe away from me, but like I don't even want the knife to be out there. In the wild. Without anybody, like without any of us 
being in control of it. Okay, well, like, just don't stab us. Today. I'll try my best. Thank you, appreciate Please that. Don't get possessed I, I, and stab I'll us. I'll try my best not to get stab us by your doppelganger. Oh my god. Dude, this oh, is, I don't is like a, this. That's a very, very common theme between all of these. Yeah. I think it's probably and the most common. Oh my god. It hasn't gone off until we talk about you stabbing us with your knife. No, it hasn't gone off until we talk about doppelgangers. No, we talk about your doppelganger yeah, stabbing the us with the knife. It wasn't about me or the knife. We literally haven't had this go off until we started talking about a knife story and how you're going to stab us with a knife while we're sleeping tonight. Okay, we're going to find out. I think we should throw the knife somewhere very far away that no one can find it. Well, throw it? I don't know if throwing a knife would be I don't want someone else idea. to get the knife. Exactly. Well, who's going to find it if you throw it into this forest? I don't... Well, what did say we who's hear out find there? It? Whatever I mean, we heard. Who are we going to find? I don't like the idea of throwing the knife because it wants the knife to stay close so that way you can stab us with it. It like legit like, didn't go off until. Where are you telling us that the theme of these stories is the knife, or is it the doppelgangers? It's your doppelganger. And the mimic. <laughs> doppelganger. Your doppelganger is gonna stab us. Yes. Yeah, so then why would we throw it to my doppelganger to get it? That's true. We know that I'm here. He would know where it is. If Sleep with it I'm... in your pants. <laughs> Sleep with it in your pants, and no. if you roll over, you pay the consequences. Oh my God! You think I'm gonna be relaxed enough to sleep tonight? You know what's crazy though? I think yeah, your dowsing rod. Every single time, pointing back, going oh. forward, I feel it, like it was like a 50-50 split. Right. <laughs> I feel like the guardian doesn't want us to see what's in front of us, but the devil wants us to see that. And I have a feeling, and I know you're being positive. Go ahead. Go ahead. I just feel like there's something there. There's a reason it's called Devil's Advocate. <sighs> to whomever guided us to this location or tried to take us away, is there anything you could tell us about what happened? You see that there's a site here that has a lot, a lot of trash, debris, gloves. What happened here? What, what it, did you want us to see that? Was there more if we continue this journey going straight? I think it just ran out of space. No way. Yeah. Okay, so I know you've already told us this like twice before, but since it's been a few minutes, it'd be really off timing right now. Uh, are you actually 1000% telling us that Corbin or Corbin's doppelganger is going to stab one of us with a knife tonight? Could you like... Oh Holy sh... Elton. That wasn't, that wasn't going off for a while. I know. For a long time. I know. For a long time until you asked it that And it question. still hasn't. And it's like, yeah. Make it go off for how many people he's going to stab tonight. Elton. Elton. Or is my doppelganger in this forest? Is he not going to stab everyone? No, 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 Talking about screwdriver. Yeah. I guess it's close enough. <laughs> it wasn't immediate like the last one. <laughs> I still want to keep the knife on my chest though. <laughs> I'll just I'll take it from here. <laughs> Corbin! <laughs> Don't stab the obelisk. Oh yeah, you're right. I shouldn't. <laughs> I gotta keep the I gotta Help keep you. gotta keep the equipment safe. What are we supposed to do? How is everyone so casual about this? What are we supposed to do? Like, what? <laughs> because I what think are we, it's, should we I think tie him up? Like, what do we do? Thing. I think it's more the mimicking thing than it is the doppelganger. Well, it's it's still yeah. Knife is still gonna go in someone. 
Yeah, but you were saying that it, that I was gonna stab someone first, and it wasn't the theme of the mimicking. But I don't know. They said doing this ritual opens people up to. Well, I'll Whoa. do that with the knife, I guess. Are they over there now? No, no. Lights on There's the other side. There's a hundred percent lights coming from over there. They have to be over there because they. Yeah, have they don't have a strong enough light to no, cut through. Right there. I can see it. Yeah, but the I light's not. I know. I saw it too. I saw it too. Over I, there, twice. How bright? And bright enough, or even Very I, bright. even I looked. By the time I turned, I could see what she was seeing. It was a, at first. It was a flash, and then it was like a almost like a light was waving across. They said doing this ritual opens people up to. Well, I'll whoa. do that with the knife, I guess. Are they over there now? No, no. Lights on There's the other side. There's a hundred percent lights coming from over there. They have to be over. There, could they yeah, have, they don't have a strong enough light to no, cut through. Right I can see it. Yeah, but the I light is not. Saw I know. I saw it too. I saw it too. Over I, there, twice. Something's mm. over there. With there, the there. There's just no shot. I mean, there I can see their light. And there's yeah. no shot that ripped all the way through. No, no, no chance. And it came from over there. It didn't come from in front of the trees. Otherwise, the trees would have lit up too. Our yeah. trees here. Yeah, exactly. No, don't leave us. What are you doing? Don't leave me with knife guy. Oh, yes, you hear that? What'd you hear? I heard something from over there, like a like a like a, like a voice, a faint voice. Is that, that you? No. What's now? I hear Jerry. What was that camera sound? That was you. No. My cameras don't make sound; they just go beep. It was like a something. It was like a, in your body just you, made a camera. Wait, do you sound. have a? Uh, do you have the, the, the Polaroids over here? It's off. What? Oh, yes, you're that. What'd you hear? I heard something from over there, like a like a like a, like a voice, a faint voice. Is that, that you? No. I swear to you, we're gonna hear that. Take a I'm still recording. It has not been a cut clip. It's still that was a camera five sound. hours and 38 minutes long. Taking a picture, three, two. That was a camera Something sound. Something right here just did. You heard that? Did you hear that? I heard the. Yeah, but, but I. But did you hear the camera sound? It sounded like that. That it sounded Almost. just like that. It was no, right I heard in front the, of you. Uh, That's why I thought it was you because it was. No, just like, look behind camera you. Camera doesn't make noise. This just doesn't. That, that was. That was weird. Is that a ribbon? It looks, yeah, I mean, it's synthetic. Oh my God, is that the same one? I think that's the same yeah. type that Elton oh, saw. Uh, I had no, I think this is, that uh, That was more of like a ribbon. This seems more of like a um, fiber, uh, like fibers woven together. What does that mean then? This is what looked like it was over there. And we literally marked the street too. Okay. We'll come oh back. I think we'll come back then. I think we'll have to come back, right? Okay, well, so here. Where's the next marker? Right there. Where? Right here. Where's... Right here. Okay, I'm gonna do this one too. Yep. Oh, my foot just went in a hole. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. It scared me. Careful. Okay. I'm just putting more. Yeah. Like on the way back, so that way, in case we can easily find us. Yeah. Um, we can go back to the trail and go a different way. Yeah. If we wanted to spend some more time. I'm running out of battery oh, on yeah. everything. Okay, where, where's the next marker? I'm really, really scared right now, Ma. I mean, yeah, I'm looking at. Are you kidding me right now? Huh. Again, dowsing rods, one forward, one backwards. Look at me trying to be all positive about it. Look at you I'm being all negative about feared. it. Literally, like this entire <sighs> investigation between today and yesterday has been the battle of the exactly. two. And 
you want to say another prayer? So, where is the tape? Right here, right here. Where? Right here. Okay. What? So, what look, look. is that? What? Come here. Do you see what I see right there? There's like a red dot. We can go to it. I don't, I don't see it. <sighs> no, I don't want to go to it right now. Let's, let's okay. follow our mark. Nah, it disappeared. Oh! I understand. Huh. You're, it was like a red ball of light that's no longer yeah. there. I thought you meant like a red dot on a tree, like a mark. No, red, red, red ball uh, of light. Did yeah. you know we're, we're almost back? This is ours. Here's when we attempted to go off by accident. Yeah. Oh, there they are. They're right there. Okay. Oh. Okay. A thousand rods. Would always point in a rough direction of going straight -ish forward, okay. and one would always point backwards. Opposite. And it was a hard backwards. Every time. No movement. Every time. And they, right and left hand would switch. Sometimes it was this way. Sometimes it was this way. So we went off trail at one point, started going around taping, and then we see a white piece of something. Okay. Trash, reflective, whatever. It's something. artificial. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we start heading over there, and it was an entire camp. What? A bunch of debris, everything. Like, Talking like about supplies, like... Supplies, food, water, all... Everything. All gone. But rubbish everywhere. We thought about coming back and saying, let's not go there. It, let's come back, talk about it. Go yeah. as, I don't know. As a group or something. And yeah. then it was like, wait a second. We, if there is someone there, they don't deserve to be out there. We should try right. to do whatever we can. Come back, call, whatever. Okay. You know? Yeah. So we went, we slowly, slowly went there and tried to see what we could find. Didn't see anybody. We eventually got to the center of the camp and just trash everywhere. But and I'm, and the, these are like, we were talking about there's equipment of boiling water stuff and like just yeah. everything. You know what I mean? And then there was a ribbon hanging from a tree. And then on our way back, because our stuff was dying. One of the trees I marked also had that same ribbon that was in the camp. And what I didn't did know. your ribbon look like? A fair cling wrap ribbon or completely different? No, it, it was like a, a green woven material. Yeah, yeah, it's like gauze. Gauze. It's yeah. not gauze, too. It wasn't necessarily gauze. No, it, it seemed not like gauze. It seemed like a, like, um, yeah, some sort of just woven stringy, like if you pulled it, but it wasn't okay. gauze. Mm. You found an entire camp. Yeah. Entire. Like did you, multiple people camp? So did camp? everyone extend beyond like my white tape? That we we went there. off trail. We, we went barely. We would stop. And then asked the dowsing rods, and that's when one dowsing rod pointed that direction. And it led you to a camp? Yeah. Did it look like new? Did it look old? Like it like within, it been there for a long time? Within or maybe a month? Yeah. And there was tarps. Two blue tarps and one green tarps. There were like multiple people? Multiple tarps. I mean, how big? How big? I, we didn't it was, touch it. It was, a, it was pretty big. The, the yeah. tarp, I mean, there were, yeah. Did you go in the tents? There was no tents. No tent. tents. It was just so flat tarps. Oh, just, just flat tarps. Like so maybe you just lay on just that tarp and that's it. Just a bunch of trash. That's we didn't go any further because one, both of our stuff was about to die. The Panasonic that we were using died. Oh yeah, the speaker died. Yeah. To cover what's been happening this entire two days of polar opposite investigations, good versus evil, the entire time I'm trying to be positive on maybe it is a camp, maybe they left, like whatever. Yeah. And Jerry was negative and it wasn't until like wait a second, my dowsing rods were opposite. Everything we were getting was still yeah. polar opposites, mm -hmm. and now we're polar opposite, and it was just like, yeah. holy shit. Can I tell you something? Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, other question. Yeah. Did you hear anything uh, yeah. non-human? That way. Did you, just, did you hear anything non-human without telling you anything else? There's a few, a okay. few times. What'd you hear? We, I heard right next to my ear, and then next thing you know, we uh, asked, the, we were trying to talk to the Panasonic, and then um, this went off and said, standing, uh, stood right behind you. Right behind you. Right behind you. Wow. Tia so didn't hear the hoo 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 hoo. Loud ass. No. no. Like, like demon dog barking? No. 
I mean, we were pretty far away. Yeah. But you, yeah, you there was thought like you a, were even closer to what we heard. Yeah. I, you guys heard that way. I heard this. We thought it was you for sure. Oh, I heard it, like, oh. absolutely, like, no. right there. You mean, like, how it's like this? Forward and backward? Uh... What do you mean? Surrounding? That's exactly what they were just talking about. Like, oh, yeah. One going this way, one going that way. Oh, yeah. So yeah. we went, and we we ended up marking it like crazy on the way out. But yeah. Straight back that way, kind of the direction you guys were going, and then hard that way. Yeah. The K2 went off so much that I had to turn it off, and also Corbin is going to stab us all tonight while he's asleep. I told him that, yes. Huh? Well, Corbin's going to stab us. He found that out through the spirit box. No, that's or through the, the, the REM pod. According to the REM pod, Corbin is going to stab us all with that knife uh, in our sleep tonight. Well, two things. One, Jerry's with Corbin, and two, <laughs> taking from that, they're both the evil entities. Yes. Well, mm. and him, too. Wait, they're both the evil entities? Well, it hasn't gone off for like three wow. or four minutes. Yeah, it hasn't. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I was with Jerry. I was having oh, all, all the positive gosh. feelings, all the positive thoughts where Jerry was all negative. Yeah. Mine was all fear. Right, like we literally haven't had that go off and since the last time we talked about uh, is Corbin going to stab all of us or is he going to stab himself in his own uh -huh. sleep? Yeah. And now we bring that back up again and it's like reminding us and directly in between we're like, hey, Guardian, uh, lady, if you're here and then Ginger sees this big white light up in the trees and... You're not That's why we're nearby. standing. We yeah. see your light cutting through. They were looking, yeah, they were looking insane for Insane for your light to cut through. Oh. And, we didn't say this, but he didn't hear it as well. There was a camera, like, you know a Polaroid? Mm -hmm. and that, that thing, just right in front of him, just that camera yeah. sound. And I was like, okay, we do you take a picture right or something? We heard it. We heard, and it came from, like, right here, and, like, I had camera like this, and, like, camera, the camera only beeps. Yeah. And it goes beep, or beep, 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 beep. It doesn't, like, noise. And yeah. it came from... I right said, you had, the, you had the Polaroid then, and it was right behind Ginger. It wasn't even close to him. It was the most clear thing I've ever heard. Well, like, okay, I hate you... to ask you this again, because you've already answered oh, it no. four times in a row now. <laughs> yeah. Is Corbin going to stab himself in his sleep? Give me one little, one little beep. If Corbin is going to stab himself in his sleep, give me like as many beeps as you want for how many people he's going to stab, or give me like one big long one if he's just going to go crazy and take us all out. Garden Angel is probably like, I am so tired of this. Yeah, exactly. What more can yeah. I tell you? I, I want to rebuttal to that. Okay. No rebuttal. That was everyone. What, was that long that enough? Was, that was a very long beep, and that was no rebuttal, everyone. I don't know if that was long enough. That okay. was one very long, like legit, the only yeah. two times. No, that was going oh, off. Yeah. Is, is Corbin stabbing everyone? Yeah, I guess I'm evil. Hey. You're also the. I don't know what else we can do here, and there's, I... If I'm evil, then, it's, it, then a knife is not going to prevent me from, like, doing anything. It would be, like, anything. That's something an evil person would say? I, I think if you were to start... Yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think if you were to start choking me, at least I could wake everyone else up and we could, like, collectively get you off of me. But a knife? Yeah. We're all done. Wow. Well, and and the fact that you brought a knife, by the way, this went off exactly. This whole started from a story about someone being like, I don't know what happened, but I was gonna stab my parents with a knife. And this whole thing happened and like yeah. that's how the chain of events was. This was wasn't wondering. like sporadic or random. Sorry. It was like a chain of questions that yeah. have given us this answer over and over again. <sighs> he is the most athletic one. That's fair. Yeah. That's fair. That's, That's fair. I was not expecting the night to turn this way. But we are at a very negative, demonic territory. Yeah, I agree. And you know this I mean? guardian white lady is like, hey, I don't know what else to do to tell you, but your friend's going to try and murder you. Like, this lady is probably so over this right oh, now. She's been warning everybody, though, you know? Warning you to get out, telling us to run, like... The maybe fact that why. we're still maybe here. Maybe that's why we need to get out. Think of how many times we've been to locations or whatever, and they're like, you know, if you start to get these feelings, whatever, get outside, get some fresh air, get out of the area. Right. Like, yeah. dude, we are deep in here. You can't just walk out the door and be like, okay, let me get some fresh air. No, right. you have to in actually here. get out. You have to right. Run. And you have to track to be able to actually get out. That's a known thing that happens here is they come camping here, 
while they sit and decide what they're going to do. Yeah. So like they'll make that like their home base away from everyone mm-hmm. and then they use that and venture deeper or return. But my instinct is that if you were returning, you're gonna clean up what you brought in. Especially so if that's you, everything right. behind. Especially one culturally. Yeah. You're not in a if all countries this is the one that does not leave trash behind. Absolutely. And they're valuable, so to me that seems like that might have been the base camp, hence the ribbons to get out there. Yeah. In case I change my mind, camping a few days and they could be further back. But Sorry, like why so why, why why leave it? I feel like they would carry it all out with them. Agreed. Of all countries. <laughs> if it's the USA I'd be like, eh. Speaking of cleaning up trash, does that mean if oh, I know you're gonna say uh-huh. yeah. Yep, if, yep. if that's still there, that means they haven't found them. That's what you're saying? Yeah. yeah. Right. I agree. They would clean, up the they would clean it that's up. That's exactly why. Yeah, that's a very good point. If the crews here that come and check once a month, yeah. they, they would clean it up as well. So it's yeah. fresh. Yeah. But if that it's is not a, that fresh, then... What, was, there, like, was there items there that you felt like, like somebody would totally bring that back? It wasn't... Them? There was no personal items. They're all food. Okay. There's Please. gloves, like work gloves. Yeah. Yeah, like somebody just kind of went out there. Like some some of those like aluminum stands where you cook. Yeah, yeah. Water yeah. bottles. Like fire, yeah. Yeah, that, yeah. That's a very good point. If that was found by the by the teams that do come here, they would have removed it mm-hmm. without any doubt. All right. So we read the stories and then we go over there. Yeah, read the stories to complete this. Or then... should we go over there in the morning after we sleep? Let's read the stories and then yeah. decide. Yeah, read the stories and then, and then yeah, decide what we'll do. Yeah, if our right. lights go out, that's pretty... That is very true, yeah, because I think, like, if we're going there, it's for, like, a respectful reason exactly. of being able to, like, Point report it. it. I agree. Um, so, yeah, maybe we read the stories. Everything is spiking here tremendously. Yeah, let's focus on what we started. And then with light, mm-hmm. we can go over there and... and, and I was 13 and living in a small farming town. It was close to Halloween, so the change in seasons was in the air. My friend was staying the night with me, but by 10 p.m. we were bored and decided to walk to their house that was about two miles outside town. We reached the edge of town and the last streetlight illuminated, wow, the start of the empty country road we had to walk along. We didn't think twice about anything scary. It was mostly fields and tree lines, with the worst predator being the occasional coyote. We walked far enough down the road that the street light behind us was a distant oasis of light. It provided just barely enough illumination to remind us it was not all empty fields along the road. There was also the cemetery that ran for a short section behind this part of the road. My friend tried to jokingly say scary things, but their words echoed hollowly in the silence. Just as we reached the end of the cemetery and the tree line that separated from the fields, we heard a noise. There was something in the trees and it was big, very big. That's what we were saying earlier. Mm-hmm. It was making a lot of noise, but it was not thrashing wildly. It seemed to be moving toward us slowly but purposely. The sound of the dead tree limbs breaking as it pushed back them sounded like explosions in the darkness. This was the first time in my life I understood the saying, deer in the headlights. Even though my heart was hammering in my chest, adrenaline was being poured into my system, I was frozen. The primal part of my brain was screaming danger, but it was not providing me with any choices to pursue. It wasn't until a blur of movement crossed in front of me that my full mental faculties engaged. I was able to process the fact that the movement was my friend running past me down the road as fast as they could. I decided that was a valid option and took off after my friend as fast as I could. Eventually, we reached my friend's house safely. We spent the rest of the night theorizing what that was in the trees. In the morning, I walked back down to the road to town, past the cemetery. During the day, the eerie atmosphere was gone. My parents and I were taking a tour at a house we were looking to move into. I remember when we walked past one of the rooms downstairs, I got goosebumps when I looked into it. The lights were not working at the time. Did you hear that? Yeah, I did. You did? It was like a, it was like a little growl. Past one of the rooms downstairs, I got goosebumps when I looked into it. The lights were not working at the time. Did you hear that? Yeah, I did. You did? It was like a, it was like a little growl. The lights were not working at the time, so the realtor left it in dark, making it even creepier to me. Fast forward a few months, we moved into the house. I hadn't really thought about the room since then. 
One day I was just kicking a ball around downstairs out of boredom. At one point, I swear I could see something out of the corner of my eye. I looked towards it and actually stayed for a split second and then it vanished. It looked like a little girl wearing a bright white nightgown and it was standing in the doorway of that room. It scared the crap out of me, so I ran upstairs and told my parents. They laughed it off and told me I was just spooking myself. A few weeks later, I was doing the same thing, kicking a ball around downstairs. Again, I saw something out of the corner of my eye. This time I didn't look at it right away. I made an attempt to kind of glance at it and make it out just in my peripheral view. It was a tall, dark figure this time. Then I decided to look at it again and it stayed for a split second and vanished. It was definitely a taller, dark male figure standing in the doorway of the room and it was pointing inside of said room. Needless to say, I stopped kicking the ball around downstairs. Weeks later, I woke up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom. When I came back and tried to go to sleep, I heard knocking on the wall. My room shared a wall with the spooky room. It would knock a few times, then I heard what sounded like a baby crying in that room. Then the knocking would start again, then repeat. It went on for a while, I was too frozen with fear to investigate. I eventually fell asleep and had a dream about me walking past that room, and I saw a tall man hanging from a noose in the middle of the room with the girl in the white nightgown crying in the corner and a little boy running in circles around the hanging man. Since then, I haven't had any other experiences with that room. My family thinks I'm just trying to spook them when I try to tell them about it. I am now living on my own and glad to be away from there. This one starts off strong. My friends and I watched someone jump off a bridge. Yeah. It's a Saturday night and we're hanging out by these cool rocks, our usual spot at the bottom of this canyon and near this old concrete bridge that's a few hundred feet high and goes over this little rocky canyon. We're just talking and having a good time. I think it was somewhere around 2 a.m. and a few of us see this young lady walking alone along the bridge, which honestly is a bit <coughs> weird to see in the middle of the night and it's a bridge that doesn't really go anywhere near something that you can walk to. She keeps walking at an odd, slow pace until she stops. At this point, we all see her. All of us 1000% saw her. Then she climbs onto the handrail, at which point every single one of us starts to realize what is about to happen. And we are now yelling and screaming. Is anybody hearing that? Yes. Yes. What? It just happened twice. Yes, yes. It was, oh, oh. It sounded. Do you hear it, Evan? No. Okay, good. I'm glad you Can heard I... it. Yeah. Because it was the same sound that you were talking about before. It was... Okay. Because it was the same sound that you were talking about before. That was loud. Yeah, just, I mean. No, whatever that just we're was. We're really as far well. away from the road. We're really far from the road. Uh, I don't know. Alright. Yeah. Sorry. It was like drumming. Like, yeah, the drum. drum. I'm sorry if I'm blinding you guys. I'm just. Making sure. Uh, freaking out is what I'm doing. Okay. We are now yelling and screaming as loud as we can. Stop, no, let us come talk to you. Just absolutely anything we can. It didn't matter. She falls forward and we hear this. That's not a car. It's like 3.08 in the morning right now. What is happening? Oh, it sounds like a helicopter. It's like wrapping around. Dude. And then it stops like that. It was like a horn. How did it go from there? What the fuck is that? That was over there. I have no idea what that can be. Am I tripping? They wrapped around it us. It's hard, it's hard to hear where it is, where it's coming from. On a real world level, that's physically impossible. Yeah. To go from there to there there's, it's like eight miles of forest. And then to get over there. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. I don't like this. 
That doesn't make any sense. And then it's stopping? I hear it again. It's like going through I the forest. I hear it this way now. What could be making that sound? I don't even know from my real world. I, I can't think, I can't of, think of anything. anything that in it's not car, motorcycle. No, it, was, it was like horn like. It was almost horn like. But what kind of horn could make its way around us like this? We're and deep also in the like forest. As low as that. A helicopter. It's not like there's a road that's in a circle around us. Yeah, look, helicopter is the only like, but there's no absolute no way. The way that it stops. Not at three. We would have no. Yeah. Not at three in the morning like this. No way. We literally just hit like three ten in the morning right now. Yeah. Mm. Mm. All right. Okay. Let's, I mean, we're on the final story. ten, Stretch. twelve. I don't know. I don't know how many stories are left. Okay, it didn't matter, she falls forward, we hear this blood-curdling scream. Oh god. <laughs> we all freeze looking at each other, it felt like an hour. We hear the sound of someone falling, crashing through the trees, and then hitting the ground hard. We're all freaking out at this point because someone just jumped off the bridge. We haul us over to the area where we heard the noise, ready to help whoever it was, but when we get there, there's no one. Nothing. No broken branches, no leaves, no dust kicked up, we searched. All of us used our phone flashlights and checked every possible area, probably a football field sized area. We searched and searched, calling out for anyone who might need help, but it's like we're completely alone. No evidence or any sign at all of someone in the area. I can still hear that scream echoing in my head. Wow, that one's close to this place. The relationship I have with my own personal ghost. He's never spoken, never reached out, never done anything but smile, that vile smile from the darkness. Yet his silence speaks volumes, feeding into the narrative of my life, a narrative I've carefully constructed around his presence. Tonight as I sit alone in my room, I sense him again, the familiar chill running down my spine, the edges of my vision darkening until he is all I can see. The hat man, my constant companion, my tormentor, my muse. He's closer now than he usually dares. His smile is wider and more grotesque. And as the nausea builds, a thought occurs to me, more terrifying than any special visage ever could be. What if the hat man is not the one clinging onto me? What if I'm the one? What's up? What if? Did this turn on? What happened? Someone just poked my hand. I thought I like put my hand on a stick. Really? What? Did you put weight That's on it? That's why I just checked. I was like, did I just put my hand... Okay. Did you put any weight on it? No, I just, my hand was like this and I felt it just go... Hey, you were just standing there. Weird. You were sitting there. Okay. What if the hat man is not the one clinging onto me? What if I'm the one clinging onto him? Unable to let go, afraid of what my life would be without this dark figure to blame my fears and failures on. The realization hits me like a punch to the gut, stronger than any wave of sickness he's ever induced. And then, just as I'm about to confront this thought, to delve deeper into the implications of my own dependence, the hat man does something he's never done before. He steps forward out of the shadow, into the dim light of my room. His smile widens even further, if that's possible. And for the first time, I see something like anticipation in his eyes, or invitation. The room feels colder now, the air thick with expectation. And as he raises a hand, beckoning, the story of the hat man and me hangs in the balance. An unfinished tale that's taken a sudden, unexpected turn. My best friend lost her significant other at a fairly early age, fairly young age. It was a shock to everyone and just horrible. They were very much in love and had a happy marriage. The temporary moved in with her after, sh shortly after his passing. During the few months that I lived there, she often went out of town to visit family while on long-term leave from work. I would pet sit their animals when she was away. They had one dog and three cats that were like children to them. My bedroom had two twin beds that were her significant other's childhood beds. Her dog would sleep with me and my little and my little dog in my bed even though it was crowded. Now several things happened that I knew were a result of him letting us know he was there during this time. Some are so unbelievable I won't dare share them. I was asleep one night after working a double as a waitress. Very tired, I woke up and saw a blinding white ball of light over the twin bed and their dog was just staring at it. The light was about the size of an exercise ball overall and brighter towards the middle. 
I was terrified. I screamed the dog's name so loud it hurt my throat and squeezed my eyes shut. I hid under the covers and fell back asleep. Some of these experiences I kept to myself because my friend was getting upset that these things were happening to me and not her. For whatever reason, he used to tell her he was with her. She's since met someone and gotten engaged. I never felt anything again once I moved out of the house. When I was 16, I woke up on a Wednesday night about 2 in the morning and there was a ghostly figure walking up in the middle of my bedroom floor. I froze and reached for the light on my bedside locker, but it wouldn't switch on. So as a coping mechanism, I decided the only thing I could do was to hide under the duvet and hope it all goes away. After about 10 minutes, I peek out and notice the light is now on. The room is empty and I managed not to urinate on the sheets, which is always a good thing. The female that was in my room was dressed in black and I could make the outline of her face out. She spoke softly saying, don't mind me. That didn't settle me in any way. In fact, I think it made it worse. So fast forward to that Saturday night. I had friends over and I had a new phone, which at that time was pretty cool because I had a camera on it. We were taking pictures and messing about. Two days later, I noticed in one of the photos that this lady was sitting, sitting at a chair in my kitchen table right behind where my friend was sitting. I freaked out. It was her and I thought I was losing my mind. For about a week after this, I noticed strange things in the house, like the cupboards in the, in the kitchen all being open and the front door being unlocked when I knew I locked it. I had terrible nightmares for, for this week too. I finally stopped bottling it in and told my parents what was happening. Once I had told my parents everything and showed them the photo, they took me to our uh, parish priest, who to my surprise immediately came to our house with us. He opened the front door and back door and said prayers as he blessed the house and said a few words. An interesting thing he said was about the area I live in. He said it has seen so many strange things and frightening things on the hill, which he can speak about but claimed what happened, which he can't speak about, but claimed what happened to me was minor compared to what others had endured. I asked more questions until he finally told me everything. We live on a mountainside in Ireland above a small town which has become very built up with houses and activity. About three miles away there is a narrow water castle around 3,000 years old, which is notorious for its hauntings and cruel history. I was informed that anyone killed in the castle would have been buried in the land where my house is, and there's a lot of activity and a lot of lost souls in the area. Hold. That's the last one. Okay, let's clean up. Yeah, let's clean up, bring it down to one candle. Yep. Okay. Okay. Five and a half hours, maybe six hours later, doing this. Cold, isn't it? We are on the final, final yeah. story. Yeah. Is it cold, isn't it? It's hilarious. That's yeah. funny. Cold, isn't it? <laughs> yes, it is cold. Final story, the 100th story, the 100th candle. And this is, according to legend, supposed to rip open a portal right where we're standing and suck us into the core of hell. Okay, well. Trees be a silent witness. Trees bear a silent witness. That is so oddly fitting, but also still as cryptid as it was last time. Back in June of 2020, my best friend, his wife, my dad, and some other friends all went on a ghost investigation at Benson Griss Mill. It is a 100 plus year old mill that was made by one of the leaders of the Mormon church at the time. Once I got onto the property, I instantly felt like I had an apple lodged into my throat. I thought it was anxiety, but I just brushed it off. We entered into a house that was on the property and tried to get an EVP recording. I felt like something was trying to shove me to the ground. I then met up with my friend in the basement of the mill and I began to cry for no reason. His wife helped me get out of the mill and calm down. After about 30 minutes, I felt the presence of a child telling me to go to the schoolhouse as if the child was trying to comfort me. I found out later there was a little girl who died near the mill. I woke up the next morning with bruises on my neck. I went back again and something else happened. The next time we went there, we stayed in the school because there were too many people. We were able to get in contact with someone during our investigation. We don't know who. I felt like it was the child again. I asked who was their favorite person in the room and they said, you. I'm pretty sure it was a little girl. Hopefully not the spirit that attacked me. <laughs> LOL. It's showing somebody on the floor. Right, right here. Right here. It's recording, yeah. The circle spinning. Mm-hmm. Okay. 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 Which is that? Final candle. Oh, sure. KT's almost dead too. Last one. Okay, you don't want to go out. Okay, you don't want to go out. It won't go out. Holy. Three tries. 
K2. K2 is spiking immediately. Shadows awaited. The shadows awaited. Wow, I mean, literally the last candle and now it's spiking. All right. The ritual is complete. Summoning ritual too. I don't feel like I'm falling into the earth, thank God. The first core. Can anyone teach me my grave? That's a tripwire. Yeah. Yeah. Is anyone able to demonstrate? And your SLS went off. The same it went time. off. Looking at it, and it's right there. You can map Whoa. it. You see it. it says there's something right there, right yeah. next to the box. Hey, my chains. We're not sure what's supposed to happen now. Do it. Joy. It's the first positive thing it's ever joy. said. It's yeah. a joy. It, it keeps One word. Showing me that there's somebody right, right here. I actually, like, don't even know what was supposed. to You know what I mean? Like, did yeah. I actually expect the earth to crack open? Did it work? You know. Should be that the veil is dropped again, right? That's the goal. Or... This is supposed to be like now there is a direct connection to like the spirit world. Yeah. Well, who who do you want to talk to? Breathe. Said breathe. Breathe. Let's look at just like breathe it. Joy and breathe. Is there more? Is it because is, we open the? At least I don't know what we're supposed to do. Could it be open breathe. positivity. Right. Is it because? Mm -hmm. we're Never alone. Yeah. Maybe you open a, a portal for some positive spirits to come in. Is there anybody here with us? Anybody who wants to talk? Silence engulfs you. Is there anything able to enter to this circle right here that has never been in this forest before? We invite you. Gentle. Huh. Gentle. Gently invite. Maybe they haven't done like had this before. Are we getting like a weird flow of things now? Mm -hmm. Can you show yourself that you're here by putting your energy into this entire circle? We'll be able to see your presence by the light. Me too again. Oh, oh wow. Orange. That's the list just went off. We spent hours. Don't look back. Don't look back. We spent hours doing this to see if maybe you can give us a sign to strengthen you, to open up your connection to us. Whispering your name. Whispering your name. Your name. You wanna do it? Whisper, Whisper our own, our own name. I think so. I think that's what he's saying. Silent. Completely. K2, REM pod, even the rope is The darkness hugs you. Back it's there. getting more positive. When has this been this positive? The darkness haunts you? I said it hugs you. Oh, it does say it hugs you. Whoa. 
When has it ever been this positive? Did we just open a portal or, whoa, I saw something going across there. Where? What the heck? What? Something just went from here? Just like Elton said. When has it ever been this positive? Did we just open a portal or, whoa, I saw something going across there. Where? Earlier, Elton saw an apparition that we thought was good. Is that who's here right now with this us? This is not just a forest. This is not just a, it's a oh, forest. It's a forest. It's not just a forest? This is not just a forest. What the heck? I swear there's somebody sitting on the box. Oh yeah, look at that. Whoa. Where they're coming Multiple, through. multiple, multiple. There's one, two, three, four. They're coming four. out. Everywhere. Coming out of it. They're like crawling through it. Yeah. It seems like they're like yeah. on top of it. getting bigger and bigger. And, and there's bigger. multiple of them. There's, yeah, one, two. Just a thought I realized right now if we actually ripped open a portal and they can finally break free of wherever they were, why the hell would they stop and talk to us? Right. Yeah, they would leave. Right? Uh, if the doors break open on a prison, I don't think you're going to stop and talk to the guards. Yeah, but it would be like a win. It's like a. Uh, maybe they don't know where to go. Yeah, like they're just ripping through, and yeah. then just that's what you just saw. You saw someone just come up, and then boom, my little K2 spiking now. What if that's what you actually just saw? We just we captured it energy wise. What? 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 Am I what are you seeing? Something it, just went over that way again. What does it look like? It, to it's you? this, this like. What if that's what you actually just saw? We just we captured it energy wise. What? What? What, what? am I seeing? What are you seeing? Something it, just went over that way again. What does it look like? It, it's you? this, this like. I'm not hearing it. I can't, I can't put my finger on it, but it's like it's just. A, a, Is it a light? A light. I guess you would call it actually an apparition, but it's so small, so faint. Whisper. Just like whisper. I wonder if like maybe we'll hear it. You tread on bone. What do you see? You tread on bones. Oh. I wonder if we're literally capturing evidence of just it coming through behind you. Behind you. What happens if you step back, like outside the ropes? Me? What if we all step outside the ropes? Do you still see it? Watch out for this red pot. It's I'm watching you. Okay. Here's the thing. Yeah. Did we just open up a portal and freed everything that's trapped here? You know? The like been trapped like all the souls that's been like in the ground. Right, that's all been lost. In the here. ground. Still here. I I don't know. I always thought portals open connections, but I believe you could. What if they're not crawling out? They're crawling in. Oh, yeah. what if they're not crawling out? They're crawling in. Yeah, what if this then, is actually like an escape, and that's what you're seeing. And then where's it going? Uh, out of here. Yeah, but where to? You think? I don't know, but free. if anything is better than here, right? Because they've been stuck here. Portals aren't one direction. Ha! On the nose. Hey. Maybe that's what it is. And all these things that are sitting on top of the box are getting down to it. That's why they're not saying much, because they're leaving. They're out, yeah. Everyone's leaving. Turn around. Turn around. Oh, I hate that. Did we just help trap spirits leave? The lady in white. Can you acknowledge if that's what just happened? It's still there. Yep, it's there. Multiple. One, two. Bunch of them on the box. Oh my god. Now that you say it, it does look like that. Oh yeah. my god. And they're all in the circle. Yeah, it was, it's where, where all of it was. Yeah. Let's see what happens if I move this outside of the circle. Because now we're getting positive things. Which, again, joy. Gentle. Right. Final warning. 
warning. I now moved it moved outside it out. of the circle and I get final warning. You are not safe. Now it's all negative. Huh. In, In your sleep. In your sleep. Oh my god. I will stop. Stop. It'll stop when we sleep. You're cassissy. It's going so fast now. What are you saying? You're cassissy. You. What did you say? In your guard. That's not English. There's no words. There's no words on it. That's not English. What is happening? I am Akuma. What? Are you not making. I am Akuma, A K U M A. I, is that an actual see name? You soon. And see you soon. Akuma. 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 That that sounds Japanese. It Akuma. does sound Japanese. And three three times in a row. It wasn't English, right? But it wasn't no. Japanese no. either. It was gibberish. It was like kuskiski, kuskisi. Yeah, but why would that ever do that? You know? Hasn't done it yet. Why would it speak gibberish? Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Yeah, that hasn't happened in a while. Remember? Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh no, we were wanting the thermal. thermal. That's what we wanted. Thermal's dead. Thermal's dead. Thermal's dead. You okay? Yeah, yeah. I didn't that was going on. There hasn't been anything. Ever since it said he was a kuma, it stopped. It said, "This is in this your is sleep. Too. I will stop." I will stop. And then it went blah 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 blah. I am a Akuma. 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 See you soon. Yeah. Yeah, Celeste is dying. Everything's dying. Drained everything, taken all the energy out. It's given us a bunch of stuff. Is it possible it knows it's drained all of our energy? See you soon. See you tomorrow. It's yeah. now done. It says when you sleep. We're getting closer to four. Oh yeah, when you sleep. Oh sh. Uh huh. For that. Uh huh. So you see when you. It even said in 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 your sleep I will stop. I will yeah. stop in something, your sleep. Something something something. I am Akuma. Akuma. See you soon. Yeah. So it'll stop when we so sleep. So it could be relevant to tonight or I guess to tomorrow. But if it knows we're sleeping here, which it seems to always know everything we're doing. Right. Yeah. Then it'll see us when we sleep. Yeah. Hmm. Whatever it is, you're gonna see it again tomorrow. Hello. I feel like also this is like the longest it's gone without saying anything. Definitely. Do you want to try one more Panasonic session? Definitely. It's, it's a past four? It, if it's 408. Hour, huh? 408. Wow, so we opened, wow. we did the, we got the final story in at like 3.30, 3, yeah. 3.45 in the morning. Which is still like devil's that. hour. Yeah. Yeah. And what we normally notice is around four, things start getting slower. Damn, that also means like if there are like spirits that are like trying to make their way here, they only got like 45 minutes because we, we believe that the forest can kind of shut down when, the sun, comes when the sun rises. I think it's kind of been proven. I mean, look at that. I, I don't know. I don't know. It seems like that's, like nothing. that theory is right with the portal. Yeah. Seeing what, what Corbin's seeing over here. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Are you getting quieter? Yeah. It's getting quieter. I think it's dying. Yeah, and no, I can't even hear it. What? Do you want to try to turn it off and on? Oh, I've never, never seen that going. I've never experienced this going going loud to silent. Yeah, well, it must mean that it's dying. Yeah, it's just like power's on, but no, no audio. I'm not even touching the audio knob. Batteries are obviously good another one down. 
Look at the K2. It, does it look like that light's going down yeah, a little bit? Yeah, I think the K2 is going to be gone soon, too. I think we're going to lose, like, every single tool by the time we're asleep. It's taking everything out. The only thing left is the rope. I think these two REM pods are still here. Yeah. This one, okay. They're still okay. bright. I'm down to do Panasonic, and then I feel like we can set up yeah. bags. Yeah. I think so, too. If someone can oversee this portal, who oversees this forest, can you tell us if what we did freed any spirits trapped here? Are there any spirits that are left around us? Was the evil spirit that we were talking to named Akua? If that wasn't your name, or there's another person here talking to us, can you state your name? Can you tell us anything about the campsite you led Jerry and I to? Before we have to leave here and look up the answer, can you tell us what Akuma is? Ending. If someone can oversee this portal, who oversees this forest, can you tell us if what we did freed any spirits trapped here? Are there any spirits that are left around us? Are there any spirits that are left around us? Was the evil spirit that we were talking to named Akua? That wasn't your name, or was another person you're talking to us. Can you state your name? Can you tell us anything mm -hmm. about the or there's another person you're talking to us? Can you state your name? This is devil. Does it say devil? Does it say something? No fucking way. Do it again, do it again. Can you tell us anything about the campsite you led Jerry and I? Dude, the devil, the devil, the devil. Mm -hmm. Listen to that sh**. Can you tell us anything about the campsite you led Jerry and I? Can you tell us anything about the campsite you led Jerry and I? Are you saying the devil? Is that what are you? Yeah. It's so... It's very faint. Yeah, it's something Before repeating. Before we have to leave here and look up the answer, can you tell us what Akuma is? It sounded yeah. the devil. The it devil. sounded like the, the devil, devil, which I've heard before. I heard that, I think, in Warren Museum. I heard the devil. Did someone just whistle? No, that was me, that was me, that was me. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. So I'm just... yeah, it was a very, like, stucco pattern. Da, da, or staccato da, da, pattern. Da, 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 da. It's yeah. very interesting, yeah. though. Especially at the end.
Uh, and now it's going red. Now it's going yellow. Yeah, let's set up bags, then we'll try something. Once we're in our bags, I want to just let like leave this to record while this we're all quiet. This guy's still going. <laughs> Whoa, hey dude. hey dude, not a time to sneeze. <laughs> that was a good time and place wild. to sneeze. This is neither. This dude. is neither of those things. Sorry. That was a crazy sneeze. Relax. <laughs> Don't do that. Yeah. Like Control your body. Yeah, it's sunlight pretty soon here. You can already see blue sky. Yeah. Probably with oh, the next yeah. hour ish. Oh, we're we're just taking all of our ghost gear still on us. Yo, you took your Shoes off. Can you keep them oh, on. Make sure you knock them out yeah, for spiders dude. tomorrow or in the morning. You took your shoes off, bro. I'm I'm operating as if something's gonna kill us in the middle of the night. I'm gonna have to run. Yeah, you took my knife away, you. <laughs> dude, I did it for all of our safety. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh my god! Oh my god! What happened? Let's get my ears. What happened? What happened? <laughs> what just happened? Jerry! Dude, something crawl into my ears. Don't fucking, fucking say that. Don't say a bug. <laughs> Bro, you threw your ghost tool. Your thermal is like out of your bag. Did it, did it really? Bro, put that yeah. in your in the zipper pot in the Velcro one right there. Oh my god. Let me zip myself up real quick. Okay. Once you lay down, I'm turning off this camera so it doesn't keep dinging. We're gonna sleep like an hour. You think we're gonna sleep? I'm gonna sleep. Are you gonna stay up and talk? <laughs> you know what I feel like? I mean, you look like a burrito. <laughs> Go ahead, lay down. So like I'm like a... Test your core strength. Lay down right now. <laughs> <laughs> Test your core strength. <laughs> I feel like a uncircumcised penis. <laughs> You're very much so circumcised. <laughs> I can see your head. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, maybe it has something. Oh. It's too early for this shit. That's what happened while we were sleeping. Oh my god. Wow. I was not expecting that. I miss. Is that another one? Was it lit after that? Yeah, it uh, stopped recording. I don't know why. I looked at it and I saw it wasn't, so I recorded a new one. Yeah. This is the unfortunate part, but... Oh, we got to. Yeah, if we know where this person is, which seems like we might. We gotta do what we gotta do. I think you get the lead. I mean, you, and Evan, you, got, you and Evan got will stay behind again. We also could still very well get lost, because it's a whole different thing. So. I mean, I can almost go over the road now, too. Oh, 
This is my first time actually seeing it yesterday in the light. So. Never seen it like this before in person. It's actually insane to see how intricate it is. Damn, I really went crazy on the tape, didn't I? No, but that was so good. It yeah, helped I'm a so lot. I'm so glad you did. Dude, I'm so glad you did. Last night, these two pieces of tape felt like a thousand feet apart from each other. Deep. We went, oh, it was right there. Right. Oh, I see. Ah, good. Okay, okay. Okay, here we go. Dude, that night, this feels like it's a mile away. It does. Oh, red tape is yours. Oh, yeah. this is where you guys went off to. Yeah. Okay. So we're getting that shoe branch right here. We're getting very okay. Careful. Okay, so now from here on out, there's going to be a lot of like dips like these. Okay. They go pretty deep. Oh, yeah. That's like a brief foot drop. Like into the cave system, we thought. Yeah. Yeah, watch out for all these holes. You guys went this far in this way? Yeah. More. More. Way more. Oh, wow. Yeah, I can see your tape. Yep. Okay. Now, now this makes it all a little bit more like real, like you guys found. You know what I mean? Holy this would God. make sense that no one would find this. Like, I would never even try and walk this. No. Yeah, so over there, everything over there, you will we'll start to see it. Oh, yep. Oh, yep. wow. Okay, here we go. Oh, holy sh**. You found an entire camp. What was the, like, the uh, ribbon that we found, Evan? Uh, it was slightly further back. Uh, red, uh, oh, the, the one in the middle of the camp. Um, in the middle? No, remember it was on a red... Uh, it was, yeah, it was, that one was further back. Okay, okay we'll, we'll check that one out later then. Okay, here we are. Everything from here. Just... Love. Trash. Wow. Plastic bags. Yeah, this is definitely like, this has been here for a while and animals have found it and have come through. Bunch of lighters here. A bunch of rope right there. A lot of rope. A lot though. Um. Okay. Maybe we just mark some more red tape back to yours. And that way, it's easy to let them know. I don't have red on me right now. I do. Okay. Okay. That way, we can at least call and uh, let them just follow the white tape to the red tape. And then that way they can come here and let them figure it out. Search, but yeah, I don't I don't see any point in us being the ones to search. I feel like that's not our role here. 
I think they can probably assess this and yeah, this is a pretty vast amount. Kind of really hope this is just like another group of friends like us that wanted to, you know, and they just left it trashed, but okay. But it seems so big and like spread out. Yeah, I mean, they made a fire. Yeah, it doesn't feel like it was one person, right? No. No, it's big and all, I don't know. I feel like this is where we should stop. Yeah. Um, okay, I'll mark. I'll start marking trees backwards. Come here out. All that led us here was the Dowsing Rods. Is it really? Yeah. yeah. Wait. What happened? The Dowsing Rods are how you got here? Like, hunt, yep. like just, I mean, yeah, why else would you randomly walk this way? Both twice. It was this and this. And it was always the opposite. And we keep, uh, yeah, we just chose to keep going, right? We, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Yeah, when you like look at it in the day, you kind of like start to see like how ingrained the trees are True. with like the earth, you know, like you actually can see well beyond the roots. That's incredible. Yeah, we know there's a cave system and then below the cave system is the lava magma channels. So like these trees are like directly connected to like the earth's core more so than any other type of tree I would imagine. You can clearly see it too, just these holes in between all these different places. Yeah, I mean look at that cabin like right lost. there. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's like almost like these trees are like connected to the depths of hell. You know, you don't think of the core of earth, like yeah. what? That's what he said. Oh uh, really? Yeah, I mean, more. I, I can't think of any other trees that you could ever see like this. That like, I've seen trees with roots above sand, above dirt, but nothing like this. This is absurd. So yeah, Jerry and I were, would be on the trail and we'd point forward and one would go forward, one would go backward. And eventually we got to this mark here and decided let's just point it this random direction. And the dowsing rod just twitched. Huh. And we're like, well, it's moving a little bit. We might as well just go that way. And that's how we just went in. Mm. Mm -hmm. Jeez, that's crazy. And then every halfway, we're just like, should we keep going? And then it goes. I can't believe you guys found a camp this deep. Yeah. Wow. We did it. Yeah, I'll probably say, I'll say thanks when we get out. Got my knife back. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> It would be a really cool thought to know if, like, that portal ritual actually allowed them to escape. The fact that you saw, like, two and she's run through, we, on the SLS, you see everything on the ground, specifically in that area. Yeah, and only in that area, too. Yeah. I mean, it's a, it's a really crazy thought. It's incredible if it's if that's what happened. Yeah. I mean... It makes sense. Yeah, I mean, we have all the tools that they're coming either out or in. So, I don't know. All right, should we speed walk it out? Yes. Okay, we will say goodbye and thank you. Happy birthday. Are you gonna start to see the glow of the sun in here? Yeah. Any other paranormal channel, the TV show channel. You actually go like 10 hours straight and basically not sleep. And sleeping? Yeah, I mean, I said not sleep. <laughs> yeah, but actually, like, yeah, sleeping bags on the ground and carry all this shit in. And there's no like production, you know what I mean? There's no like PAs or production people, it's just us. Bye, Forrest. Thank you, Forrest. Bye. Thank I got the examples. Thank you. Bye. See you tonight.
Oh yeah, you're you're coming back. <laughs> Holy guacamole! Hey, nobody's here. Wow. No one's here except for the beautiful sun and the snow. The snow's down here. You say bye, Evan. Goodbye, Forrest. You were beautiful. Oh no. Oh no. You're not gonna kill all my cameras and then kill me. No. All the last things it said were throw, kick, shot. All things you wanna hear from an elemental negative entity. I'm sorry, makes me think that something not great is gonna happen to me tonight. I'm gonna close my eyes. Whatever images you wanna put into my head, I will do my best to see them. So this sucks right now. Elton, you idiot. Do not attach yourself to me. Go further. Ah, there better be a f bug bite on my neck when I check. It was so real, I started crying. And that is not something I do often. Why do I feel like I'm about to lose all of my lights while I'm in here? <laughs> I'm struggling to find the camera that disappeared. It's all dying. It just dropped down to one bar. Although I am sure you're not gonna be very happy about me trying to help free a spirit from here. And you said you take souls. You consider demons to be your children. I don't like what I'm doing tonight. I found more ribbon here. It's bringing more and more fear.